Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Hope you had a great weekend. Well, we kick off today's weather video with something quite different. This is the current sea surface anomalies. In other words, which areas are hotter and colder than usual. And one area is standing out around the entire globe. And it's this area between the South Island and Australia. This part of the ocean is currently up to six degrees above average. A couple of degrees above average is quite often newsworthy. This is six degrees. Now there could be a number of reasons why. My uh, gut instinct is that there's been, there are a lot of currents that come down the eastern side of Australia and we've had a lack of big southerlies this year across the country and that has uh, meant a lack of sort of churning up of the water, a lack of cold coming through and so it's warmed up a lot in this area which is quite interesting because as you well know the country is hotter and drier than average. What this might suggest is that there is a better chance of rain uh, at some point because warmer sea temperatures tend to bring in more rain clouds. So we're at an interesting phase in our weather at the moment because we kick off summer on a very dry hot note. Uh, you know we saw temperatures well into the 30s again over the weekend. We're going to be seeing that off and on across this week. There might be a little bit of a cooler change though here on Tuesday and that's only a very light one just down here around the southern or eastern side of the South Island but as you can see inland we still might be getting a couple of showers and maybe one or two in the North Island as well but mostly, mostly dry and once we get to Wednesday that little southerly is even cooler around the eastern side so the daytime highs in Dunedin will only be making it into the teens whereas inland it'll be closer to 30 degrees so we're getting back to that setup for a couple of days however by the time we reach sort of about Thursday the warmth starts to come back again to the eastern side of the country everybody else we're pretty much the same afternoon downpours popping up once again um, not as dramatic as they were last week and we end here on Friday where again some downpours in the central North Island but a bit of life out in the sea. So where do we go to from here? Well we don't have any further maps to show you but my feeling is that we're going to see a number of fronts moving in to the west coast but with so much high pressure dominating around the north don't expect a lot there. Perhaps a week from now we might sort of get a bit of a spring-like change in the weather where we get a bit more west to southwest winds, it's windier around the South Island and some rain but the long-term trend suggests more highs on the way as well and so what I'm starting to notice is a drying out really of the eastern side of both islands and the north of both islands. Now there is a drying out phase in the west as well but I hope that some of the rain that's expected to come in the next week might be a bit of relief for you. Certainly it will be on the west coast of the South Island but it may not go a lot further than that and long term beyond that with that warmer than average sea temperature there's a good chance we might get a decent sort of rainmaker coming up across the whole country but at this stage we do see a much drier than usual pattern kicking off for much of December but there's a wild card with this very weak La Nina we are seeing a lot of life north of New Zealand in fact to the northwest of New Zealand and northeast of Australia there's a potential tropical storm forming right now so there is a chance of rain this summer but at the same time of we have a risk of floods and a risk of droughts it's just one of those summers in my in my uh, estimation that is all from me for today we'll update you again tomorrow as we get closer to these rainmakers starting to come towards the country